Obviously had a little conversation. He was getting called Sinden Bradley all day, but he's made it to the final. So good on the MC for switching it up and getting the names right. Big moments. Another Grand Prix final for this young man. Took a silver in London, of course, on his home turf. Can he go one better here in Moscow? Pushed all the way by Eddie Belmontes. Representing and I think it could be Russia. just about the same for the home favourite. Oh, Stern faced from Alexei Denisenko. Of course, world and Olympic silver medalist. Followed it up with that silver medal most recently in Rome. Had a chance to chat to him there. Talking, of course, about the big rivalry with Ede Hoon and trying to bridge that gap. Ede Hoon, of course, fighting in the Asian Games in Jakarta in a couple of weeks' time, so Denisenko will have his moment under the lights here in the final against someone new. But it was almost done and dusted for him against Yagpur Jubari of Iran. Had to work for it, found an answer. As Valid Yunus from Switzerland takes charge of proceedings in this one. This, of course, the men's under 68 kilogram final. Great Britain and Russia, host nation. Of course, they'll be cheering on this man here, Denisenko. But we know that Bradley Sinden, well, he's got plenty of pedigree coming into this one. World Championship bronze medal. His best result, of course. He's had a silver in London, a bronze in Rome. What he wouldn't give for a gold here in Moscow. Open stance and an open opportunity for both. Denisenko thinks about it. Thinks again as Denisenko on the counter. Nice little hook around the corner from Sinden, showing some confidence. I would venture that Denisenko, slightly the longer leg of the two, but Sinden showing the power there. Oh, big back leg to the face, Will. That's always the, the risk that you take. Sinden pulls it back. He's made of tough stuff. I think everyone from Doncaster is. Especially the Taekwondo crew. Of course, Sarah Stevenson. And the late, great Caroline Fisher as well. Sinden of similar stock and similar style. But it was the headshot from Denisenko. Saw it coming. Picked his spot. Smacked it home. Far from one-way traffic as we go into the last minute here. Good fake from Sinden. Oh, that face kick wasn't far away either. Yeah. Nice push kick to the body from Denisenko to the delight of the partisan crowd here. In Moscow, good patience from Sinden there, fighting his nature, trying not to leave his head open in that middle distance. And the cheerleader is back. Hopefully someone will join in. And no one does. Certainly conducting himself well has been Denisenko. Three-point gap, that head kick making the difference in the first round. This one, of course, for the $5,000 prize and the ranking points. Valid Yunus having a good close look at that one there. As he separates the two at the end of a very good first round. Obviously better for Team Russia. Plenty to cheer about for Sinden as well. He's on the board. He's shown his strength. But Denisenko has shown his quality. 5 2 to the Russian. Well, Denisenko was certainly pushed to the absolute limit in that semi final. 
of the Basil Yagrojibari gave him all sorts of problems, so never easy to make it to 68 kilos. Never easy to sustain the fitness. And one thing we know about the British fighter in blue, he will fight to the finish, but look at that for timing. Denisenko looks for it, finds it, sending, well, he does well to take it indeed. of the front legs. Sindon, of course, could do with a little punch or two on the way through. Denisenko has already shown. Can't leave any spaces against him. Nice little cut up double. Good flick from Sindon. 5-4 in favour of the home fighter. Good control of the ring there by Denisenko. There's a headshot, flicks home there. Well, he set that one up, pushed him to the edge of the mat, drew him back in. And there was the headshot waiting to happen. Well, unsurprisingly, the power punch scores. Landed it with nice timing. And Denisenko, well, he's found the space for that every single time. Sending eyeballs him to say, OK, three of them in a row. That shows quality and timing. Bradley Sindon, well, he needs a score on the board and quick. Got to keep in touching distance. But Dennis Inko, well, I mentioned that height difference. Good punch as well from the Russian. Sindon has a little look at his coach, Martin Stamper, as if to say, OK, we need to try and change things up here. Last 30 in the second. Well, the game, John, could be given by Valid Yunus. British fighter fixes his shin guard, maybe hoping that he'll forget. And the referee making a mature decision there. Cam John not given. 13 to 4, 20 in the second. Well, he's got that front leg on toast at the moment. Sindon trying to adjust now, keep that head out of the road. Senko, of course, has that world and Olympic pedigree, the silver medals at both of the big dances. But he's leading Bradley Sindon a merry dance at the moment. A couple of really good head kicks on the way through there. And the Russian, well, he's in no real hurry to get this one done. Professional, poised. That's a good picture, perfect headshots as well. Set up play that's so good from Denisenko. Sending trying with the, I don't know, the Mongolian windmill, we could call it. It's that front leg straight out of Moscow and straight into the face of Sending. Three good ones. of Davai, looking for Denisenko to fight and go for it. Good back kick around the corner from Sendin, that'll help his cause. Obviously looking for the extra points to be added. Valid Yunus has a little check there, make sure that the two points are added. Martin Stamper happy, his fighters climbing back into this one. It should be 13 to eight by my pathetic mathematics. Should be two points added for the back kick. They'll have that conversation as coach and fighter. Try and change things up here. Well, that's the great thing about Dennis Enko. He knows that Bradley Sendon loves to come forward. And he's made him a suit to fit. I'm sure my math teacher would be proud there. I managed to add up six plus two. 
So it is 13 to 8. So the gap shortening for Denisenko. Sending the working away in the clinch. Denisenko, well, a picture of concentration as ever, using the front leg to keep his opponent busy and keep him honest. Sending a little bit more elaborate techniques, trying with that back kick round the corner. Good block there from Bradley Sinden. Benisenko's done a fine job there. No points on the board, but he just killed at least 25 seconds. Well, that cam jump could help. Benisenko trying to hang on in here. He's got the quality. As the momentum shifted a little bit towards Great Britain's Bradley Sinden. Well, only time will tell of which there's not much of it left. 45 to go in the third. Denisenko with the quality back leg turning kick blasts it home. Doesn't score though. And the back kick come reverse around the corner from Sinden. Wilder Eunice making sure this is conducted cleanly and fairly as we go into the last 30 seconds now. And with a fair chance, Denisenko of a home gold medal. Bradley Sinden trying to find a way through. Double, a great balance from Denisenko there. Didn't even give away the gam jump by stepping out. Headshot whistling by. Clock ticking down. Denisenko finishes with a flourish there. Absolutely superb. A testament to the quality of Alexei Denisenko. Plenty for the crowd to cheer about. And it's Denisenko on the double here in Moscow. Bradley Sinden just trying to push him around a little bit. And Denisenko says, no, no, my friend, not today. Credit worthy effort from the British fighter. A battle to the end from Bradley Sinden. Alexei Denisenko will take the gam jump all day long as he takes an excellent win. Sinden reminding him that he was in a fight. He will take the silver. Superb gold for the Russian. And a nice show of respect. In the end, just about from both men there. That was conducted in fine style. And speaking of style, this man producing it when he needed it. Excellent head kicks. And finishes with a double sandwich to the face. Oh, he's going to drag his coach out here. giving the big plaudits to his coach. Lovely to see top class from Denisenko, not just on the mat, but off it as well. Good little fight back from Bradley Sinden. But Denisenko, the danger man, on the double. Grumpy champion, perfect timing. What a head kick that is.